Crashing a machine is never fun. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan with Titans of CNC. So I'm excited because guess what? Tomorrow morning, I'm actually flying out to Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm gonna speak at the DMC. Nashville, Tennessee at the DMC. Went to St. Just kidding, just kidding. And it's gonna be amazing. What is the DMC? It's one of the biggest events in the United States for manufacturing. It's crazy. So all the shops that build our military on a high level are gonna be there. So you got like Northrop, you got Lockheed Ray on you got Boeing you got all of these big companies and then you have like US generals and everything and then there's speakers all throughout the week and like these guys actually selected me to be the only speaker that gets to speak to all 1700 attendees that is a crazy honor so in the morning my wife's coming with me Dave Cox Matt Schilling uh, my vice president, we're all going over there, meeting some people from Canada Metal. They're going to have a booth and stuff, and it's going to be insane. We're going to light it up. So anyway, it's Sunday night. I wanted to not leave you guys with nothing, right? I wanted to have a vlog come out while I was gone. So I'm putting the work in to make sure that we have constant videos coming your way. All right. So before I get into the subject, which is going to be fun, fun for us, I just want to say this is the number one education platform on YouTube. Basically in the world, we have a free academy teaching on milling and drilling and, and everything CNC machining. We're mixing it all up. All right. So please subscribe to our channel and actually comment down below because like today, I grab the comments and I actually answer those questions and make sure that you like the videos. All right. So today I'm actually going to talk about something fun. I, sh I should be careful. Crashing a machine is never fun. But in one of my last vlogs, somebody actually came out and said, Titan, you know everybody does it. Tell us about your worst crash. And I was just like, yeah, like, never did it. We don't talk about that. I have no idea what you're talking about, you know? I'm just joking. I'm joking. You know what I mean? But truthfully, I've never had any crazy crashes, like, personally as far as like hitting vices or a table but i've definitely hit some stops and broke a lot of end mills like broke a lot of end mills in my day definitely plunged into some uh jaws before and stuff you know soft jaws and i've had many people that work for me and it falls on my shoulders right so i've had many people who've worked for me actually crash our horizontals or crash big machines and put us down for a week or two and it's never a good thing you crash a machine like not only are you risking bodily damage to yourself and to the machine but you're risking uh, your customer's livelihood right because you have parts that you need to deliver on time to that customer and if you break your machine during the whole production run you can set the whole thing back right so not only is it money but it's your customers it's you it's just a bad thing okay but i want to talk about it real quick all right so so check this out I've always loved teaching. Even when I was in prison, you guys know, I used to be a boxer, some stuff happened and I ended up serving time when I was like a kid, right? And uh, I used to like train the inmates. Like I got into medium security and stuff. They had some heavy bags and I've just always loved teaching. But when I walked into this trade at Zanola Manufacturing in Sunnyvale, California, I actually picked up the trade pretty quick and became the head programmer within six months of walking into that shop, uh, shop foreman after a year. And one of the things that I love the most, besides just machining, besides putting the work in and honing my skills, was taking others and raising their game. So as we got new employees, I took it upon myself to really teach them. So we would take people who didn't have any CNC machining experience and we would train them up and I would be that person. One day I was working with this guy, Billy. I'm not gonna say his last name and that's not Billy Boyce, it's somebody else. And I know he's watching too. But anyway, I was training this guy and he's awesome. And he was already doing a lot of setups and stuff. And, and we were like, bring it down and do this and do this. And you know, here's all the safety things and stuff. And, and again, 
I've only got a couple years in the trade. And when we talk about experience, this is something that can happen, right? Because I had experience and I was really good and I didn't personally make a lot of mistakes, but at the same time, I didn't have the right type of experience to truly understand what could happen to those machines? So I was so daring, you know, like a kid running right next to a cliff and not being scared or being on these crazy rides at like an amusement park or something. And they're not that scared because they've never seen death. But an adult is like, oh yeah, get away from that, that ledge right there because one slip or, you know, anything happens, you can fall to your death, right? We have the experience to understand the magnitude of something. So I don't think at that time I had that experience to actually understand the magnitude. So we were like training and stuff and one day we were running paraos, right? So I was over here and I was running this one. He was running this one. He got everything all set up. He went through all his checks. He went through everything. Again, he had already done many setups. So like I had looked at him and I was like, what's up, Billy? You, you got it? You good, man? And he looked at me like a student to a teacher. And he had like a big smile on his face, like appreciation. He's like, dude, this is so amazing. Like, this is so awesome. I got this. I'm beginning to like truly get this, man. You taught me and now I got this. And he turns around and then I'm just like, what a beautiful moment. I'm like the sensei, this is Grasshopper and he just snatched the pebble from my hand like boom. Kung Fu the movie for the older generation, you get it, younger guys, they're like, what the heck is he talking about? But anyway, Grasshopper just took the stone from my hand and I was looking at him and I was just like, Dude, this is a beautiful moment, man. And then he just went over there and he just pressed the green button and then boom! Like louder than that. Did that scare somebody? Oh man, like three inch face mill, straight rapid as fast as it could go. Boom, into the table. Like it was like the top of the vice, the hard part. Boom! And I was just like, please don't judge me. But like in that moment, with the seriousness of what had happened and how his face went from a smile to a, and the magnitude of it and not knowing exactly what to do, I literally started laughing. Like I started laughing. I was like, oh my God, like, oh my God. Like, oh, $15,000 worth of damage in a second. Oh, day that he will never forget and I will never forget. And guess what? There is something that we learned from that day. All right, so let me just say, crashing a machine is preventable. Like it's preventable, all right? And that's why like on, on the academy, we're teaching everybody the fundamentals of CNC machining and that's one of the reasons we did a checklist and did a video for every single topic on that checklist, right? From stoning the table, to putting the vice on, to indicating, to putting the stop, to putting the program in, to double checking it, to putting the tools in, to running, running up six inches above the part, reducing your feed rate, to even, even after you've done it, keeping your hand right there on that button, coming in after you've already ran six inches, stopping it above the part, opening the doors, looking at it, making sure that if it's a quarter inch, it looks like a quarter inch, making sure that you understand, you know, your single block, that you actually know everything that's coming up. I take that so serious, and that's why all the teachers get to use our set up checklist on Titans of CNC Academy because of the experience that I have of knowing what can happen. And it's because of the day with Billy, way back in the day, right? Because I understood all of a sudden, you crash the machine, you risk bodily damage, you risk machine damage, you risk your customers, you risk everything. So that's, that's the craziest crash story that I have right there. It almost got a downer, right? It was like, oh, 
but it's a serious business. So I just want to leave you with that. I want to leave you with it is serious business. CNC machines can kill you, right? People open those doors, they do this, they do that, and they, they take it for granted, but that, that machine will go through flesh. That machine will kill you. Truthfully, CNC machine is not a hard thing to learn. Mastering it and becoming very good at it, that's a hard thing because that comes with experience. That comes with a lifelong learning process of understanding all the little variables, understanding all the things that could go wrong, and then having an attitude where you are proactive in your approach instead of reactive because you have that experience right so there's a, there's a lot of guys that you know they make the same parts and make this they make that and then this guy might make like you know 18 bucks an hour but this guy makes 35 dollars an hour and this guy's grumbling like man i move faster and i do this well it's because experience you got to pay for that because that's the those are the guys that can go in every single day and keep the machine running and not make the mistakes not like that that's it's a safety feature having that guy at that machine right so that's my biggest point in telling you that story right there is that learn from it that serious things can happen and therefore we just have to double check everything that we do. We have to be proactive. We have to be preventative. And you guys like take advantage of that checklist on the Academy. Like if you're a CNC machine shop owner or a leader, that's great for your young guys, right? Because you have this checklist and you basically go down and they check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. And they do all these different things. And if, when they don't understand something, they just click the video, click the video, click the video. And guess what? All of a sudden they come to you and they say, oh, look, I'm ready to actually run my part. And you're like, let me see the checklist. Okay, everything has been checked. So you did this, you did this. Then you can go over there and actually double check everything. See if they actually like ran it six inches above the part. If they dry ran it, did all this and did all, if they're in single block and then actually be there for their first tool to come down and actually look at it. And then you can actually like not have these crashes, right? If you inspect all of it, if you double check all of it, if you, you know, do things a certain way, you will not be making crashes. You will make good parts, right? I always tell people like, have a rhythm. Like I have a rhythm. If I'm putting in data, I always go top down. I never go bottom up, top down, bottom up, top down. And because somebody can come bother you and then you can be like, wait, what was I doing? So have a rhythm of understanding exactly what you're doing. So if I always go top down, then I'm always going to go down. Boom. And if an instant comes and I'm like, oh, what did I do? I redo everything. You don't take any chances. You got to be serious about this game. All right. Oh, one more thing I want to tell you. I'm actually going to record the speech at the DMC and we're going to do a vlog on like going to it. And I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. I'm taking you guys with me. Like, like I personally, I'm taking this camera, this one right there, like, boom, I'm just going to take you with me. And I'm going to be like, Oh, check it out. You know what I mean? Like, boom. All right. So let's go to the DMC, the defense manufacturing conference together. All right. I will see you there. Boom.